<coughs> What's your name, sir? Michael. Michael, where are you from? I'm from England. Michael, are you stupid? What's your name, sir? Michael. Michael, where are you from? I'm from England. Michael, are you stupid? No. No. No, I'm not stupid. Why do you ask? I'm not stupid. Never have been. Never will be. Who Superman, is? Superman. Oh. <laughs> what is your name, sir? Thomas. Thomas, where are you from? Kansas. Thomas, are you stupid? Is Thomas no. stupid? Most people say yes, a couple of no's. No. What's your major? Uh, Kansas. What is the First Amendment? Don't cheat on your wife. Don't cheat on your wife. What is the best form of government, do you think? Um, no government at all. No government at all. You feel anarchy would best serve yeah. the needs of the people. If, like collective living collective living what is that where everyone decides the rules it's like an actual majority well how about let's say you got a group of people together and they wrote like a constitution and in that constitution they put a bill of rights which would guarantee certain inalienable rights to all americans does that sound like a good idea yeah you think something like what are the chances of that happening slim very slim, slim. Very slim. where is iraq you know we hear so much about iraq, iraq? yeah <laughs> Iraq is in um, Afghanistan. It's in Afghanistan. Are there any women on the Supreme Court? As judge, yeah. Can you name any? When I usually watch TV, they do uh, Judge Judy. Right. Uh, that's about the only one I know. That's the only one you know, just Judge Judy. What once divided East Berlin and West Berlin? Uh, the Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China. News on the march. Millennials, who are they? What do they want? A millennial can be defined as anyone born between 1982 and 2000. Or anyone who thinks loving Sriracha or Austin, Texas counts as a personality. Millennials crave things like instant gratification, authentic experiences, and for some reason we haven't figured out yet, improv comedy. Here's one millennial who has a parakeet with 9 million followers on Snapchat. Here's another who single-handedly started the hashtags that canceled 12 network TV shows she found offensive. And now I'm told she identifies as a man, so I'm being fired. Hello, I'm your new announcer. And actually, he was just about done. Thank you and good day. How many planets in our solar system? Oh, let's say 100. I don't know. 100? I have no now, idea. Did, you, did I hear you just graduated college? When? I did, when, but this I didn't week? study astronomy. And where do stars go in the daytime? <laughs> now, you're a college graduate. You just graduated in college. Stars go in the daytime. They're underneath us because the sun's shining. <laughs> stars go underneath us? Angela, who is this? Is he running for president, too? <laughs> exactly! <laughs> no. Exactly! He's running for president, too. No, who is that? I don't know his name. Huh? <laughs> Kind of looks like Will Smith a little bit. But <laughs> Will I Smith. I don't think he's running for president. Will Smith. Have you ever seen a Homo sapien? You don't not want to know. Yeah, I saw one once at the zoo. Describe it. Furry. Yep. Big. Mm-hmm. Gorilla looking. He was picking his whatchadilly. He was. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen one do that. <laughs> well, I did. What weighs more, a pound of muscle or a pound of fat? Muscle weighs so, more. I'd say muscle. Yeah, muscle yeah. weighs more. What's better, the American school system or the English school system? I don't really know what's America. See, in America, a pound of muscle and a pound of fat would weigh the same. Oh, really? Because it's pounds. Well, pound. the magazines say muscle is... Yeah, but... Yeah, it's a pound. Will you explain, explain it to her? Explain. <laughs> well, a pound is a measurement of weight, so it's like a ton of feathers or a ton of bricks. They oh, yeah, very yeah. funny. <laughs> well, give me liberty. Or give me death. Very good. You know who said it? Um, oh gosh. No. 
<laughs> I do, but I don't. Samuel L. Jackson? Samuel L. Jackson? What does WW2 stand for? Uh, what would you two do? <laughs> what would you two do? Who won the Civil War? Who won the Civil War? Um, we did? The South? <laughs> like the one in 1965 or? The South? <laughs> like the one in 1965 or? Who won it? Who was even in it? <laughs> who was in it? Just tell me who was in it. Ooh, I don't know. Do you remember what the Civil War was about? Civilization. Civil War was about? Civilization. <laughs> what was the Civil War about? Couldn't be able to tell you. No idea. Of course not. You should know. I know, right? Yeah. The North? You sure? No, it was the South. I believe the North won that um, Civil War. Abraham Lincoln, what did he do? Was he in the North or the South? He was in the South. Civil War? Abraham Lincoln, what did he do? Was he in the North or the South? He was in the South. He was in the North. Who fought in the Civil War? Got it. What year did Columbus discover America? Was it in the 60s? Did Columbus was a hippie. <laughs> Recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is? I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some uh, people out there in our nation don't have maps and uh, I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as, and I believe that they should, uh, our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. Or, or should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries so we will be able to build up our future. For our Thank you very much. Let's go through this if we could. Now she says, I personally believe, this means this is not her professional belief, this is a personal belief. <laughs> That U.S. <laughs> Americans, this is to distinguish between, from, say, Mexican Americans like Guillermo or <laughs> former Attorney General Arburo Gonzalez, yeah. are unable to do so because s some people out there in our nation don't have maps. And that is, that's actually true. I had a neighbor that didn't have a map. And I loaned him the map, and then he never returned it. And then I, now I actually don't have a map. And I believe that education like such as in South Africa right. and the Iraq. Now, that is, you know, there are a lot of Iraq impersonators out there right now. Um, everywhere like such as. Right. And I believe that they should, our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. Well, I, I totally agree oh, with yeah. that. Ooh, what is the Second Amendment? Um, love thy neighbor. Santa Maria! Do you think people with low IQs should be allowed to vote? This <laughs> question is too hot, I need to think! When I say the word Republican, what do you think of? Pepsi. Uh, Can you oh give God. us a hint? Was it? Yeah, yeah. He he liked to get blown in in the office. No. Oh, okay. Um, what's his name? Kennedy. Who's Seriously? How many senators are there? One. One. There's just one senator. Twelve. Twelve? No. Two. No. No. It's a hundred. A hundred. Okay. Of course. Look at that sweet smile. If the president and the vice president both get assassinated, who takes over? Vice President both get assassinated. Who takes over as a president? The one that wants to be president next year. Secretary of. No. Oh no. <laughs> my god. <laughs> Secretary of State. <laughs> Supreme Court Justice. <laughs> both the president and the vice president were to be assassinated, who would be the next president? The Senate. Mm -hmm. The Senate? I don't know. You know, the Senate is like a group of people. Uh, the military leader? Mm -hmm. Can either of you name any of the Bill of Rights? Not under pressure. Not under pressure. Do you think it might be important to know the Bill of Rights? Yeah. The Bill of Rights. I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> I'm going to look stupid. <laughs> the right to a fair, fair and speedy trial? 
You must have been in, in court recently. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've experienced with that one. The right to bear arms. I don't, I'm not that into politics. Whoa. 52. How many stars on the American flag? Shit, we got 13 colonies, so 13 minus 50. 13 minus 50, goddamn, 47. 47. 47. How many stars on this American flag? I don't know, to be honest. Are you an American? Yes. My grandfather served in uh, the United States uh, Navy. It's imperative that America has strong relationships with and knowledge about people in other lands. And that responsibility extends to all of us, not just the president. So we came up with a test. The test is very simple. Went out on the street, we asked people who were passing by to name a country on a map. That's it. We had a map, we said name a country, any country, <laughs> and here's how that went. Can you name any country on this map? Honestly, my geography is so horrible. I can't name anything, like Try nothing. <laughs> is this South Africa? Nope. We had the country of Asia. Nope, that's a continent, and oh, that's whoops. Russia. Oh, damn. Oh, uh, I'm silly. That's okay. Um, man, it's been a while since I've been in school. That's uh, okay. Any country on the map. Africa. That's a continent. Country, damn it. How about a country in Africa? Uh, I know South Africa is over here somewhere. No, it's No, it's south. down here, yeah. Yeah, south. Oops. Can you name any country on this map? Yeah. Africa? That's a continent. Oh, God. <laughs> Can you name any countries in Africa? God, no. Who knows stuff like that? Can you name any country on this map? Yes. Um, Africa. That's a continent. Oh, country. Um, um, Greenland or Iceland or something? That's Alaska. Um, any country. No, no. <laughs> and on the entire map. Um, this is so horrible. Where's America? I would say this big one, but I'm probably wrong. You're definitely wrong. Okay. Can you name any country on this map? Oh my gosh. Shouldn't I be taught this in school? I would hope so. <laughs> South America? That's a continent. Oh my god. Then How about a country in South America? Um, yeah. Honduras is... Here, 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 somewhere here. Nope. Can you name any country in Europe? Is this one Europe? No. This one? No. Um. <laughs> Can you name a single country in Africa? Was this Africa? No, again, that's South America. <laughs> no idea. Can you name a country in South America? Okay, this is South America. Yes. Can you name a country in it? No, I can't. Did you go to high school? Yes. Did you go to college? Yeah, that's a sad part. Argentina, Chile, Bolivia, Brazil, Peru, Colombia, Venezuela, Mexico, United States, Canada, Greenland, Iceland, Australia, New Zealand, um, Papua New Guinea. What's your latest obsession? Just the fact that people seem to be getting dumber and dumber, you know, I mean, we have all this amazing technology and yet computers have turned into basically four-figure wank machines. You know, it just seems to me that it's just a bunch of stupid people pseudo-communicating with a bunch of other stupid people in a proto-language that resembles more what cavemen used to speak than the King's English. You don't really act, you no. don't sing, you don't dance, you don't have any, talent. forgive me, any talent. Kylie Jenner to the foyer. I have a little surprise for you. Is that a chicken? Wait, what is that? What is that? It's okay, baby. Now a new study says humans literally may be getting dumber. I'm not kidding. Research shows IQ scores have been steadily falling worldwide for the past few decades. And this matches similar studies in the US. Mm -hmm. I feel dumber now than 20 years ago.
The Taliban now has access to over $85 billion worth of American military equipment. That includes 75,000 vehicles, over 200 airplanes and helicopters, over 600,000 small arms and light weapons. The Taliban now has more Black Hawk helicopters than 85% of the countries in the world. But they don't just have weapons. They also have night vision goggles, body armor, medical supplies, and unbelievably, unfathomable to, unfathomable to me and so many others, is that the Taliban now has biometric devices, which have the fingerprints, eye scans, and the biographical information of the Afghans who helped us over the last 20 years. And here's what we just learned again in the briefing that we just walked out of. Is this, this administration still has no plan to get this military equipment or these supplies back. Instead, it's all fallen into the hands of the Taliban.